right? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, how's it going? Uh, we are back with some more Dark Souls ASMR. Um, I I am really tired right now. Uh, I've almost fell asleep in my chair three times now. So I thought, what what better time to record this than right now, when I'm when I'm very very tired. So, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, so yeah, I hope you will enjoy this video. Uh, and as always, if you have any uh, criticisms, just let me know. And of course, I will try to see to it that it is changed for the better, of course. I, I will try my darndest. You better believe I will try. Alright, so uh, since we defeated, or since we rang both of the bells, the, the gate is now open. So we are now able to go into Sim's Fortress. You have to forgive me, I might go a bit quiet here. There, There's a strat for this place that only works if you do it the first time. We don't need the large titanite. Now that I think about it. All right, and we're gonna run past here and uh, not worry about those guys. They're not. They're not harming anyone. All right, and we're gonna quit out right here. I'm really sorry if that was allowed, but we're going to quit out right here, and uh, the reason that we quit out right there is so that we can reset the boulder. Because by, by resetting the boulder, we are able to skip over half of the area. Uh, and it's very easy, it's very easy, very easy to do. Alright, and there we go. Yeah, once, uh, once you know what you're doing, uh, Sin's Fortress is, uh, is pretty easy. And, uh, I, I know that's a lot coming from me because I've played the game like 12 different times now. So I know, I know it's a lot coming from me, but you just gotta trust me. Like you just gotta believe me. Like once, once you, once you figure out the strat for Sen's Fortress, it becomes a, it becomes a piece of cake. It's very, it is very easy. And uh, 
sometimes sometimes the the strat doesn't work and that's sort of just the nature of Sen's Fortress. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work and you really you really don't know why. And uh, it, it does suck. It it does suck when it doesn't work. But that's okay because as as long as you try as as long as you're willing to try again it it doesn't really matter how many times it takes you to finish it as long as you're willing to put another foot forward it will never matter how long it takes it, it will never matter All right, and uh, for, we are going to kill this guy real quick so that he doesn't interfere in, in, the, in the upcoming boss fight. Because he can, he can be a bit of an issue if he's still alive. We got, uh, we got, we got pretty lucky there. He, he normally doesn't frenzy twice in a row. All right, and, uh, and we just need him to do it one more time. And then we should be good. And, and of course, he's he's not gonna do it this time. It, it it really is quite a shame. Hopefully, he does it soon. Hopefully, he does it soon so that we are able to actually kill him. He doesn't feel like being very nice today. There we go. Right, and uh, and not only do we kill him, if just for the benefit of making the fight easier, but uh, we also get a Titanite Trunk, which we're probably not going to use, but it's still nice to have regardless, because you technically never know. Alright, and this fight... This fight is pretty easy. Uh, 
I need him to come more on the bridge a bit more. That's a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, we can just finish them off. This is, this is perfectly fine. So, uh, so I kinda, I kinda screwed up the fight a little bit. Um, so Iron Golem, if you do enough damage to one of his legs, he will trip and fall. And if you do it while he's on the bridge. You will fall off and die. And um, in in my case, he did fall, but he landed. But he landed on solid ground instead of falling off because he was too close to the main to the mainland. So, so that was kind of my fault because I didn't have him far enough on that bridge uh, for him to fall down. So it was it was kind of my fault, but it was it was still a good fight uh, nonetheless. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to level up Dexterity so that we can cast faster because your casting speed is tied to your, to the Dexterity stat. Um, at least I think so, but uh, either way, we we shouldn't have to level up anymore. We should be good at where it's at now. And now we can focus on other stats that could benefit us more, like uh, resistance or attunement even. That could be a good one. Uh, attunement is very helpful or extra spells. So we uh, we don't we don't have to kill that guy. Uh, we could have just ran away, but I I kind of felt like killing him, so uh, that's what we did. I was just in the mood for him to die, and his fate was sealed the moment I locked eyes. And I really hate that jump. That jump is very scary. Okay, good. Those guys, those guys die in one combustion. That's actually very good to know. Except for that guy, apparently. I think the reason the other one died is because I got a I, because I did a counter attack, and you, you take 
you take 50% more damage if you get hit while you're vulnerable. Uh, fun fact, if you didn't know, there is counterattack damage in this game, believe it or not. We're going to try to bait that guy into following us. Perfect. Uh, that's, that's what you want to do with those guys. You just want to bait them off. Alright, and uh, this next part is a little scary because you got two options. You can, you can, uh, you can play it slowly and you can lure the guys to jump off or you can just rush it. Hopefully they don't get in the way. Um, the, uh, the second option is a bit scarier because it relies on luck or it relies on more luck than the first one. But the first one is also scary because of how much longer it takes. Uh, I think I'm just going to play it by ear or eyesight. All right. Normally that guy doesn't come after me. He normally just stops and starts throwing knives. Oh, that was that was actually perfect. I've never had I've never had it go that well be ever at all. That's that's honestly the first time that's ever been that perfect. That has literally that that literally has never happened to me before. Alright, and we're gonna crank the lever. Uh, the reason for that is it opens up a shortcut for us. And we're just going to run past this gargoyle. We don't have to worry about him. Uh, he's going to stop chasing us eventually. Uh, after a while, he's going to stop caring. Or even if he doesn't stop caring, he's going to not be able to follow us soon. Okay, I was I was kind of worried about that. All right, and uh, I forgot that those guys could fit through the doors. Okay, the uh, best strat for this part is to just run. And don't stop running. Except for right here. Right here you've got some breathing room. <laughs> and uh, right, right here is the only breathing room that you're ever going to get in this entire area. And um, just gotta make sure that you can parry. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the halberd for this, uh, not for damage, but for the sole purpose of being able to knock off the knight. Or actually, on second thought, I can probably just kill him with sheer damage. So I'm gonna, I'm going to do that instead. Okay, this 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 next part is a bit scary because the knight on the left can sometimes see you for seemingly no reason. 
Sometimes he just, sometimes, for the most part, for the most part, he doesn't, he doesn't see you. But sometimes, for some reason, he just does, and he will, con he will continue to shoot you. And it's very annoying when that happens. Okay, that was perfect. Um, this, this entire area was nearly perfect. Um, except for that one part with the gargoyle. That was a bit, that was a bit sketch. I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of sketch. Alright, um, I'm probably, um, I'm just gonna put my, I'm just gonna put that in the health, in the vitality, I guess. It's only one point, so it's really not gonna do much. Alright, and, uh, uh, all I need to do now is actually make it to Ormstein and Smo. Um, they're... Since we are running a pyro build, there are no other stops that we have to make here, so we can just go uh, straight to the boss. But I actually, I actually want to equip some better armor first. All right, good. So we can have our, we can, we're able to have our entire set equipped while still having fast rolls. Um, the main, the main trick for Dark Souls, the the first one at least, is uh, always make sure that you have the fastest rolls. Always. Because uh, a lot of people, including me, uh, you try to you try to find the best armor, and you normally end up with mid rolls, or uh, or also or either fat rolls more commonly. Um, so it's 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 really not good. It's better just to have fast rolls. I know, I know, I know, obviously you have more defense with better armor, but you can save yourself so much trouble by being able to dodge faster and better. It really helps you in the long run. Alright, so what we what we just did right there is uh, is a skip. Um, yeah, what the skip does is that it skips having to do this entire area, and now we're right at the boss room. So the only thing we have left to do now is to actually go inside the boss room and uh, I'm, go I'm going to keep the halberd equipped just in case because I don't think I don't think that we have enough uh, pyromancies to actually defeat the boss so I'm going to have the halberd as a safety measure. Uh, hopefully, of course, I don't 
have to use the halberd because it's going to be very weak. So it's going to take forever if that's the case. Uh, my main goal is that I can at least defeat the first phase with the pyromancy. So let's get this started. Off to a great start, I see. Alright, I'm going to try to heal. Alright, he's going to let me heal, thank you. And here we go. One of the most infamous boss fights in the entirety of the Dark Souls series. One of, one of, if not the most infamous fight. They're being really weird. That was really weird. That was, that was a really bad start. They're being very awkward right now. I've always been very bad at this boss fight, so you'll have to forgive me if it takes me a while. Uh, my apologies in advance. Uh, I'm I, I'm just really bad at uh, separating them. Was really bad. Sorry if I'm being a bit quiet. I just, I really need to focus for this fight. That was really awkward. weird. That felt, that felt super delayed. Uh, 
Right, I am out of Estes. So hopefully I don't uh, get hit anymore. That would be appreciated. That was really scary. Dang. Uh, I was I was going to attack Ornstein, but then he backed up, so I wasn't I wasn't able to. That, I got really greedy there, that was my bad. That's the safe time to attack. We can, we can do this. This is this is still very viable. No, I couldn't find it. I tried finding the humanity, but I couldn't find it. Oh, that's a real, that's actually a shame. That was really scary. Okay, uh, even even though we could have gone for that, see that that's what I was scared about. If we had gone for that and he had charged, we probably would have gotten hit. So I need to be as safe as possible. And, and unfor unfortunately I am going to run out of pyromancy, but that's okay, because we, st we still have the halberd. Uh, 
I, I shouldn't have gone for that, that was really greedy. I, I, sh I should have just waited, but luckily we are fine. I, I messed it up very badly. Alright, we have to switch to the halberd for the rest of the fight. Oh, that's actually really, that's actually pretty decent damage. We should be fine. Uh, I'm going to see if this does any damage. Or any extra, I mean. That, that was, that was very scary. I missed. I missed again. Well, I might not ever find out if this does extra damage. No, it actually does less. But, but I am glad that I know though, no. I keep going right in between the legs. Probably could have been dead by now. But uh, this is fine. Uh, just a just a few more hits and we will be very golden. Now I mistimed that. I didn't want. I didn't want to go for that. All right, uh, one more hit might actually do it. Okay, let's let's not get risky now. All right, perfect. All right, uh, we we beat we beat um, Ornstein and Smo first try. Uh, thankfully, uh, I'm I'm actually very glad that. I uh, beat those guys uh, first try because I am very bad at that boss fight in specific. I'm just very bad. And, and like e even though even though I know the strats, I, j I just can't do them for whatever reason. But that that's okay. But that's okay because what what matters uh, what matters is that we still ended up doing it. But in uh, in even greater news, <clears throat> oh, 
hope you I hope you all are ready. I hope I hope all of you are ready for uh, amazing chest ahead. Um, normally, normally I do, uh, kill her, but, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep her alive this time, just to switch things up a bit. Alright, and, uh, most importantly, oh, wait, this is a problem. This is, this is a bit of a problem. Apparent, apparently I never got the bonfire at Quail Egg's domain, somehow. That's, that's weird though, because it was already lit. Hmm. Uh, well that, that's fine, we can just, we can just get back to it. Well, I'm I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to I'm going to get back to that bonfire. And and yes, I am holding on to my souls. There is a there is a good reason for that. And I will show you once I get to the bonfire. As soon as I get to the bonfire, I'll be able to show you. Or actually, I might be able to show you right now. I forgot to check. I, I forgot to check something. And uh, I, I apologize. I just, I just realized that I started talking really fast a while ago. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, I know for ASMR, talking slower is better. Um, at least, at least in my opinion. Um, but that's that's uh, my fault, though. When I'm when I try to explain stuff. I, I just start talking very fast for some reason, and uh, I don't really know why I do that. But yeah, I, I, I just start talking very fast. And uh, I, I, I try to stop myself from doing that because it it can get pretty bad sometimes like I'm talking it it can get to the point where I am like in inaudible because I'm speaking so fast and my words will just blur together you know you know kind of like XQC if if you if you've ever heard of them, but kind of like that, but not not quite to that extreme though, but something to that effect. If you, if you, if you catch my drift, of course. Alright, we're just gonna hope that nothing bad happens while we have all these souls on us because we we have a ton of souls and I would prefer if nothing bad were to happen. 
it, it would be it would be quite a shame to lose all of these souls. So I hope that doesn't happen. Perfect, and we still have the ring equipped. We still have the ring equipped, which is very good. Nice, and the lady is still here. Uh, the great thing about the lady being here, that one, she can modify our pyromancy flame, and two, um, because of her being here, the enemies just sort of walk away almost whenever we start talking to her. Uh, it, it's quite comical, actually. It's actually pretty funny just seeing them just go run away, run away. <laughs> and it it uh, it just looks it just looks pretty funny to me. Alright, and uh, we should we should be able to upgrade the flame one more time. That kind of sucks because I I was really hoping for two more times, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. But as you as you can as you can see, um, it just does. It just has so much damage tied to it. It's uh, it's quite insane, honestly. Just how much damage it's capable of doing. Alright. And uh, last but not least, we are going to run over here real quick to unlock the bonfire that I missed somehow. Uh, I really don't know how I missed it. I really thought I grabbed it, but I guess I just didn't. Um, so uh, the main reason the main reason we want this bonfire, uh, well, actually, actually, there's two main reasons. Um, the one reason is that it is a warp that will bring us to this area, which is one of the areas we need to go back to. Um, the second reason is that that creepy looking guy, he is able to modify our pyromancy flame uh, so long as we don't kill him. So it's just, it's just very nice to have this guy around. But un um, unfort unfortunately, um, the only person that can ascend the pyromancy flame is that one lady. But th thankfully, if I re if I remember correctly, we are able to um, upgrade it with this guy again as as soon as we ascend it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken but that 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 part is a bit foggy in my memory i can't quite remember i've only i've only ever done pyro once and that was a long time ago so you have to forgive me if i don't quite remember But 
All right, I think uh, I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, we actually made we made some pretty good progress, if I do say so myself. Um, we we defeated the Iron Golem, and we also defeated uh, Ornstein and Small. Within within the hour, we got through both Sen's Fortress and um, and Orlando, which I think, which to me, that's a pretty huge accomplishment. I'm quite proud of that. But yeah. Uh, I have been recording for about an hour now, so I am gonna I, I am gonna wrap it up because uh, I'm getting a bit tired myself too. <laughs> I I've been trying not to fall asleep, so uh, I, I I'm just surprised. Uh, I'm just surprised that I actually managed to defeat Onus. Uh, not well, not only when I was tired, but especially especially on first try too. That was really that was great. I'm re I'm really glad that I did it first try. I I just get so frustrated with those guys because I'm just so bad for whatever reason. But anyways. Uh, I don't want I don't want to blab around for too long, so uh, I'm just gonna end it here. So uh, I hope uh, I hope I was able to help you relax, or if you watch this video for the fun of it, because you think it's funny, which is perfectly fine. Uh, I hope I made you laugh, maybe. But anyways, I'm really bad at. Ending, so I'm just gonna go now. <laughs>